Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be installing these two parts. This one is GPM Racing. Uh, it's a servo horn, aluminum servo horn with the steering linkage. And this one is the Trexus 2072R, the metal gears for the 2075 servo. And yeah, today I'll be installing those on my Rustler 4x4. And let's get started. First, we'll see if it matches. It gets on there. It has the same amount of teeth. Okay, so apparently, in order to get the servo horn onto the car, um, you actually have to use a, like, what should I say, like a rubber mallet or something, like, similar, something similar to, like, a rubber mallet, um, it looks like this, it's like a rubber hammer, you gently just smack it, and it will go in. I can tell that this servo horn is much higher quality than than the the stock servo horn. It is much better quality. It fits right on as long as you use like a hammer. And look at that. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put this the uh what you call it uh steering link we're gonna put the steering link on and in order to do that do that we need the nails that this gave us um i think the nail for yeah, the nail for this the nail that goes in here, the uh, nail that goes right in here is this, this one right here. It's a short one. Um, the, uh, I can't get it to focus. Um, the top is flat and it's like a little cone shaped top. That'll go in here. Okay, after a few technical difficulties, I finally managed to do it. I actually had the servo horn on backwards. It's supposed to go up. It's supposed to stay up like that. When it's centered, it's supposed to stay up, like so. And the drive shaft will just go straight through there. So yeah. Time to unscrew the stock one. So in order to take out the stock one, um, you will have to unscrew this snail down here. In order to get to there, you, you unscrew it from here, this hole right there. You grab uh, the medium size oil wrench and you stick it through the hole and into that, uh, and then you unscrew it and it should come off. The steering link, the stock steering link should come off. And there you have it. Boom, the stock, stock steering link is off. Time to get the GPM one on. This one on. Um, I think it's supposed to go under. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we will put that on. Okay, we are back and we have it installed. There you go. This is what it should look like when you're done. Now, to put the car back all together, you'll need your drive shaft. This is a tricky. This is really tricky. You stick it here, but not all the way in. You connect it to the drive hub. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but you connect it to the drive hub. Like, 
like this. Okay, and then you slide it in, and at the same time you match up the, the drive shaft to the rear drive hub, and it slides in like that, and you should be good to go. There we go. Slide it in and you're good. Now we will put these screws back on. We will put this, these uh, two screws back on here. Also, by past mistakes, um, put these two, put these two screws back on first, not this this one. Don't put that one on yet because it's supposed to. Apparently, you're supposed to put this one on the front first. So. Yes, we will do this quickly. Now that we have it in, we, we close the receiver box. Make sure that this blue rubber thing right here, this blue rubber thing, um, make sure that that, that um, is where it's supposed to go. And we put it like this. There we go. We get the um, nails, the screws to the receiver box, put one, put the other one on here, and then stick all the mo all the wiring that's like left over. Stick it as much as possible as you can, like into the receiver box, so that it doesn't get in the way when you're doing other maintain, like other things for your C car. Now that you have it like that, we will we will tightly close the receiver box. Yeah, you're basically done then. Here's the stock um, servo horn and the steering linkage. I will just put that away here. And we're ready to see what we achieve today. Um, so this is our car. Um, let's hear the servo first. I may grab my TQI remote. Okay, let's hear the car for let's hear the servo. Now 
sounds nice. Good. Okay. Here's what we've achieved today. Um, there we go. Look at that. Okay. That's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, you you learned how you, this video helped you. Um, yeah. Bye.